Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to Subnautica. Now there's been another major update to the game since the last time that I played and it actually involves a lot of different things. Uh, but first off, the names as usual, the first one goes to Darshita Chopra, who suggested the name Tiny Boat Tim and Tiny Seamoth Tim for the, uh, Seamoth that's gonna happen. But there was also another person that suggested the name Tiny Bubble Tim, and I'm kinda, kinda keen on that one. And then the next one goes to Schnufflepuck, who has an amazing name, uh, and he or she said, I think your red hair is pissing all the fish off that's why they're attacking you just like how bulls are attracted to red and I don't know how true that may be but I think it's just because I'm a human in the middle of an ocean an alien ocean as a matter of fact and they keep adding updates to the game that adds more horrifying creatures because in this particular one called the power nap update they added beds battery chargers power cell chargers and horrifying monsters anyway Last one goes to Dr. Derp, who said, That's what you get for cheating. Now, I don't know what he's referring to exactly, he or she. But I didn't cheat! I did not cheat! I've been doing it very, very nicely. I haven't had any cheating happening at all. Anyway, so there's a lot of updates that have been made to the game. Uh, battery chargers, power cell chargers, beds! Which I don't know what that means if you can take a nap, but I haven't even found the bed blueprint. I actually went around and I tried to find a lot of blueprints. I did get... Uh, if I look up here, I got the battery charger, and I have the power cell charger, and it looks like they take pretty identical things. And I have the majority of these, I'm pretty sure. So I'm gonna whip up the necessary stuff to be able to make one of these right off the bat, and hopefully I'll be able to show you guys something new almost immediately. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Wait, was that copper wire it needed? Ah, shit. Okay, good. And then glass. All this basic crap that we've gone through a million times. I'm gonna make the battery charger first because I've made- I, I haven't exactly made power cells and I don't need them just yet, but definitely need the battery charger because that means- God, it means finally I wouldn't have to waste this stupid crap over and over and over again. Endlessly wasting the same amount of batteries, having to make them over and over again, and I gotta go get table coral! God damn it! It's an endless struggle for coral! Ah, fuck it, I'll take the sea moth out. I'm gonna put you in the moon pool eventually. Did I build a moon pool? Have I not built a moon pool yet? God damn it, I'm so far behind on everything. I don't even remember where I left off in the last episode. All I remembered is that there was a new update that I had to get through. And I gotta explore the goddamn ocean. Where is my goddamn silver? There it is. Thank you! Okay, so this. Make the computer chip. I just need a bit more titanium. And then, walla walla bing bong, we got a battery charger. Hot damn! Oh, I thought this was gonna be faster than that, but apparently it's very slow. But with this, finally, I can take the used battery that I have here and you can charge up to four at once. And of course it takes power from your building, but apparently not that much power. That is amazing! Oh, finally! I won't have to charge, I won't have to make a new one every single time. Oh man, that's recycling. That's caring about the environment. That is dutifully making sure that everything in the surrounding area is going to be A-OK -okay for you. And now, there is a power cell charger to that, and when I need power cells, that'll be important. But that goes primarily in the Cyclops, because the Cyclops runs off of six, I believe six power cells. So, you need one in there, and then you need a nuclear reactor in your Cyclops, and then hopefully... The Cyclops has been beefed up enough such that it's good. Now, I don't know about that, but I'm hoping that. So, anyway, the next thing that I'm gonna be doing is I am going to be going to... Oh, shit. Okay, you just play your didgeridoo over there. I'll be gone. I'll be back. Love you, Karen. All right, whatever. Karen loves to didgeridoo. It's, it's her favorite passion. Okay, so if I put this on now... Alright, I'll get- I'll use the, uh, rebreather once I'm actually down below and need it. But I'm gonna be exploring now because I need to find the bed blueprint. That's gonna be my next objective for this game, and then in the next episode I'll get the Cyclops all ready for you guys. And have that A-OK -okay on everything that I need there. But for now, I need to get a bed, because that's one of the new features. And the only other feature in the last update that I need as far as I know is probably gonna be... Oh, that's right! I need the Lost River! Oh, I totally forgot about that. Yeah, I need to get the, uh, the depth upgrades for my Seamoth. Number one, I need to get the depth upgrade, which is gonna be important. But also, I need 
uh, to find the Lost River, because that's going to be a very, very interesting thing in the future. And that is a crevasse. That might even be the Lost River. Holy shit, where am I? Yeah, I think so, because the Lost River ties into that biome with all the stringy and, like, horrifyingly disgusting creatures of the deep. But I'm not going there just yet. Death is not going to encroach me until a little bit later. But for now, I'm going to be exploring and trying to find all the lovely things in the horizon. Okay. So the reason I'm going by the ship is because I'm not 100% sure on this one, but I imagine there would be beds in structures that we as humans have made because that's important. So where else would there be beds but on the ship or possibly in sea bases that are abandoned around the place? Hello, big guy. So either I find the things that are like the broken off pieces of the ship which might have something because they have lockers in there and they might have beds which is i think that's less likely but the alternative is that on the ship itself is the possibility of a bed so i'm gonna find that out and i'll be back when i find it <laughs> hi are you something i can open aha whoa hello hi Anybody home? Oh, probably not. Oh, boy. Wow, this doesn't look good. Oh, this looks like the opposite of good. Well, what was the point of this? Sealed door cut open to access. Oh, god damn it. I don't have my, uh, I don't have a welder. Uh, I guess I gotta get that next. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna get that, and I'm gonna come back right here because I know it's got goodies in it. And I'm gonna find them. Just as soon as I go find the crash powder. I will find you someday. Don't poop on me. Please tell me there's something down here. Hello! Is antibody going to explode? I probably shouldn't have brought my sea moth all the way down here. But I don't want to drown. No. Okay. Move this to the five. Get this out. Use the laser cutter. Hubba! Is this? Oh, there we go. Wow. This is gonna take a while. This must be some door. I mean, holy shit. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. What is behind here? I didn't even know that we were gonna run across this. Oh, shit. Okay. All right, place your bets on what's behind the door. I'm willing to bet a bed. <laughs> Or there could be dead bodies. That's always a possibility because nighttime just approached. And that probably means the denizens of the deep are gonna rise from their graves. And... Oh, also, bonus option, absolutely nothing. Ah! Whoa, look at that! Bye! Okay. Cool. Can I go through here? Hello. Hi. I bet there's nothing special, is there? Oh, God. You are kidding me. You are goddamn kidding me. What a load I went. God damn it. What the fucking fuck? Oh, that is dickatry. Oh, that is. There's nothing. It's empty. There is nothing! What a load of shit! Oh! What a bag of dicks! Oh, that is such ass! Oh, fuck off! God damn it! Well! That was a big ass waste of everybody's time! Okay, I guess we're moving on. That was absolutely nothing. I was excited for no reason at all. That wasn't there before. Is there gonna be another thing to cut open in here that's filled with disappointment? Probably. Well, let's see. I don't even think I can cut this open, can I? Whoa. Oh, came out at the wrong time there. Ah, good, yes. A door that I'm pretty sure I just came from. Uh, who built this shit? Huh? Who's trying to fool me that this is actually something important to cut through? What a load of a I am- I'm pissed. I'm- I'm legitimately pissed because now my welder- or, or my laser cutter is half out of battery. Is there something down here? No. 
Something up there? No. Something through there? No. Load of bullshit. That's what it is. All right. I thought I was, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed because I thought I was going to be able to show you guys something cool that I had come across something interesting and fun and neato weedo and nothing happened. God damn it. Okay, I got to go back home. Eh, it's a bitch and a half, but I got to go back. I wasted too much power. Well, that was a waste of a trip. I got to build the moon pool. That's the number one thing that I got to do right now because I can't keep replacing the power cell, especially considering I didn't build the power cell recharger. So I need to, I'm going to go back. I'm going to build the moon pool. I'm going to build the power cell recharger because I forgot. Uh, actually, no, I won't. If I build the moon pool, I won't even need the power cell recharger. So I got to do one or the other. I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, whoa, what is this? Wait a minute, what the fuck is this? Whoa, what the shit? Hey, back off a second there. What the fuck is even happening here? What? What am I looking at? This doesn't make a lot of sense. It's just kind of all raised up and what the f what the fuck? Is there like something that's not spawned that's supposed to be here, or is this actually like this? What the fuck? I'm gonna scan this because I want this, but whoa. That is bizarre. I have a funny feeling that one of the, like, an entity didn't load or something, but there is. There is something not right going on here. What the fuck? Okay. God damn, I really do need to just like, like swim through the entire ocean because there's a lot of stuff around here that I do Welcome not know. Aboard, like I literally just don't understand it because I haven't seen it yet. Like I haven't, I haven't swam through the entirety of the newly updated op ocean. Like the reason why I started this new save was so I could get to all this new terrain data that I just literally have not seen yet. So it's actually going to be really cool to be able to go through it all, which I will in time. Okay, so I'm back home, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to build the moon pool, and that requires a lot of crap, doesn't it? Moon pool, titanium ingot. That's not bad, that's just a lot of titanium. Lubricant I can get from right over there. Yeah, okay, this ain't so bad. I just gotta go get it, which means that I gotta get a lot of titanium. Uh, fuck! I love farming! It is really fun! I go a little out of my mind when I'm farming. Like literally, I go completely out of my I go completely out of my mind. But in a good way. <laughs> right. Oh, 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 ah, right there. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Yeah! Yeah! Hobuski! Nice! Okay, so that reduced the strengths of it, but at least we got what we need, which is good. Um, so now, I just gotta dock the Seamoth, who has seen better days. We're gonna pop this bad boy in here. Oh, I wonder what it's standing on. And then it's gonna charge up, and I'm gonna freaking get another welder, I guess. I don't know where the other one went. Hubba! Oh, that was nice and silent. Well, shit. Ha boink! Okay! This is like the scariest background music for an underwater horror movie that I've ever heard in my entire life. It's kind of amazing. I appreciate it. I mean, my god. What the fuck? Holy crap! Wow. What the hell was that? <laughs> I mean, I know exactly what it was, but wow. That was terrifying. 
That was like the scariest thing I've ever had in Subnautica. I don't know why Subnautica constantly wants to be a horror game, but a horror game it be. So that's what we shall be dealing with. Okay, man. All right, so that's all the time I got for this episode of Subnautica. Sorry I didn't do as much progress on the new update that I thought, but with my dedication to not cheating, it's harder to make leaps and bounds than what I used to, so we gotta go through a more methodical process. So, thank you everybody for being patient, thank you for watching so much, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye I'm good at that. I could, I'll, I'll do my best. Ah, oh, you're joking, right? I'm not joking. I didn't handpick because I'm creepy. I'm not creepy, I swear.